The Terminator, 1984 It's been more than three decades since a naked Arnold Schwarzenegger first brought us the nearly wordless Cyberdyne Systems T-800 Model 101 and the James Cameron-directed The Terminator, back in 1984. Do you know what was the most shocking thing about this movie was? Arnold Schwarzenegger worked with guns every day for a month to prepare for the role. The first two weeks of filming, he practiced weapon stripping and reassembly blindfolded until the motions were automatic, like a machine. He spent hours at the shooting range and practicing with different weapons without blinking or looking at them when reloading or cocking. He practiced different moves up to 50 times. Truly incredible. Terminator 2 – Judgment Day 1991 Acclaimed director James Cameron followed up seven years later with an even bigger and better sequel, earning Terminator 2 hundreds of millions in the box office and multiple award nominations. It was truly a game changer and is dubbed one of the greatest action movies ever made. Interestingly enough, the foreign distributors eagerly signed up for this film, even though it had more than 10 times the budget of the original film, making it the most expensive film in history at that time. And that's not all. Working with the notoriously perfectionist James Cameron was so hard on many crew members that they started wearing shirts saying, Terminator 3, not with me. Hilarious. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, 2003. After a long hiatus of almost 12 years, the third installment in the Terminator franchise finally hit the big screens in 2003. But this time, it was made by director Jonathan Mosteau, who let the franchise enthusiasts down a little. This still didn't stop lead superstar Arnold Schwarzenegger from preparing tirelessly for the role. 51 at the time, he worked out for six months, about three hours a day before shooting started, by which time he said he had the exact same body weight and muscle measurements as he had 12 years previously while shooting Terminator 2. It makes sense, too. After all, his fee for reprising the role was a whopping $29.25 million, a record at the time. Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, 2008 This was an odd entry in the Terminator franchise. Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles was a television series launched in 2008, picking up the story of Sarah and John Connor following the events of Terminator 2. Series producer Josh Friedman considered the series a separate timeline that ignored the events set into motion in Terminator 3. Even though the series never featured Arnold Schwarzenegger even once, it did so well among fans that in 2012, online petitions were set up for the series to be brought back and a third season to be commissioned. The campaign to bring back the series continued even throughout 2015, but sadly for all of us, it never came to fruition. Terminator Salvation 2009 the next installment of the trilogy was directed by Rookie McGee in 2009, with Christian Bale and Sam Worthington leading the star-studded ensemble. Yet despite this, the film was a huge disappointment and is widely regarded as the worst of the franchise. Christian Bale later stated that when he was approached for the film, he expressed concerns to director McGee that nothing in his filmography suggested that he had what it took to do this movie properly. McGee ultimately convinced Bale to give him a chance so he could evolve as a director. But boy oh boy, we all saw how that turned out, didn't we? This movie was anything but a salvation for the director. Terminator Genesis 2015 the Terminator franchise saw another reboot in the mid-2010s with Terminator Genesis, but despite casting Game of Thrones star Amelia Clarke and bringing back Arnold Schwarzenegger, the movie did not do well critically or commercially, continuing the failing trend of the once-revered franchise. Paramount greenlit two sequels to this film before it even opened, because regardless of how well it would do at the box office or with critics, all film rights to the Terminator series would revert back to James Cameron in 2019. However, both sequels were cancelled after the film's critical and commercial failure, thankfully paving the way for Cameron to produce Terminator Dark Fate. Finally! Terminator Dark Fate 2019 After a run of films that Terminator fans wished would vanish from their minds, 
Iconic director James Cameron agreed to help save this sinking ship of a franchise from extinction. The film, according to James Cameron, is a direct sequel to his own films, The Terminator and Terminator 2. Terminator Dark Fate ignores the events of the previous films as well as the short-lived TV series Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles, because Cameron was not involved in any of them. Since he was disappointed with those films, Cameron stated in 2017 that he wanted to develop a proper sequel himself. This means that Rise of the Machines, Salvation, Genesis, and The Sarah Connor Chronicles are set in alternate timelines.